Okay, just sit comfortable, keeping the spine erect up, and bring the hand either palm down or up. Relax the shoulders. Okay, feel the weight moving down to the base of the spine, and just sit a moment. And keeping the spine erect, shoulders drop away from the ear, base of the skull, reach back and upward to the crown of the hip, soften the face. Soften the neck, soften the shoulders. But just pay attention to each breath that you're taking it out through the box of the nostril. Just okay, let the body settle down. Connect to each breath that you take in and out through the nose. And now, I want you to visualize that you are breathing in through the left side of the nostril, breathing out through the right side of the nostril. Inhale to the right side of the nostril. Exhale to the left side of the nostril. Just one round. Continue in through the left. Out through the right. Inhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. Continue on your own pace. Another five rounds. Focusing and imagine you are breathing in through the left and right. We are bringing our minds really close to the breathing, consciously breathe. Two more rounds in my own. Inhale through the left. Out to the right. Just visualizing the flow of the breath. Exhalation to the left. Return to normal breathing. Breathe in from both sides of the nostril. And breathe out from both sides of the nostril. We have the body and mind connecting. Please be aware of yourself. Be present.
the axial plane. Get, get the palm and the heart center as eyes open. Continue to sit up tall, reach your arms over here. Okay. If you join the palm together, look up to the ceiling. Palm to the heart center, exhale. Okay, putting down the left hand down floor. You're going to reach up with the right hand to so from the front right hand. And then inhale, extend the right hand all the way and lift the chest. And then exhale, release. And put down the right hand. And then lean it to the right side, bring the left hand forward. So inhale, reach your hand from the front. So coming up next to the ear and extend the chest up. And exhale. Yeah. You're going to get the left hand down, right hand up. Inhale, so the half circle, reach back. Inhale. Exhale. Just move forward, inhale. Exhale. So one breath, one more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. In. And exhale. Okay, sit up twice again and cross the legs, step the feet In from here, get us a line down on the back. Okay, set up the feet, keep it distant up. Nice. Yeah, back of the shoulders, back of the feet, heavy down on the mat. Bring the right leg to your chest. The thigh close to you and point your toes on the right leg. And extend the left leg straight out with your left leg point your toes as well. So inhale in here. As you exhale, you feel the entire the back body heavy down the floor and you're pulling your right thigh gently close the body and reaching the front of the left thigh all the way to the left big toes. As you release, step the right leg, chin side, left leg. Left leg to chest, right leg straighten up. So inhale here. So exhale, pull your left leg gently towards the body. Soften the jaw, soften the face. Nice. And let go to your left leg. Left leg cheese. Right. Okay. This time, you're going to move your right leg away from the body. As you begin the right leg to step up right of the hip, maintain the natural curve on the side. So the lower back is not pressing down the floor. When you pull the thigh in, your lower back is pressing down the floor. So I want that. So knee right above the hip. So from here, Cross your right leg over to the left side. You want to keep the right shoulder stay on the floor. Use your left hand, give a little pressure to your right leg. Press down the right leg down, but at the same time, your right leg will resisting your right left arm. Okay? So now you begin to feel the outer hips, the rise of the outer hips. But still keeping the chest, the shoulder stay on the back, and look straight up to the side. Up, and then the pressure on your left hand on your right leg and the right leg against the left hand. So expand the back and keep your eye look sure. As you release the right leg, come back to center. Step the feet, chin back. Okay, left leg. Now to maintain the knee chest by on your lower back, to start the knee above the hips. And then cross your left leg over to the right. Right hand on left leg. Gently press down the left leg down, and the left leg resist. Okay. Left shoulder heavy, the back heavy, jaw face relaxed. Okay. Come back to center. Very coffee. Step on the floor. Okay. Find your chest. Lift the hip up. Chin to knee. Exhale, put knee and then rock on your back, side to side. Nice. Okay, from here, lie down on the back again. Step the feet down. Good. So, this time you're going to pick up the leg up. Point the toes and turn the both knee up facing to the side. And pull the heel towards the inner thigh. So, like you're doing a butterfly pose, okay? The supine butterfly. Put your hand, the palm in between your thigh. Okay, so you gently press your thigh out to the knee all the way up gently to the side. Now, when you use the palm, push the leg at the same time, your leg is against the palm. So keep your leg a little bit resistant. So remember the resistance stretch. You are stretching the groin, you are stretching the inner thigh, but at the same time, your palm is giving the leg a little bit resistant. 
So feel the lower back. If you are pressing down the lower back, I want to avoid it. I want to extend the back. So you might find that your rib is slightly lift up, but not overly popping up. Right? So maintain there's a gap in between the lower back and the floor. And use your hand gently, press the leg out and down. At the same time, your leg is resistant. From here, the is close the leg. I can step the feet. Now, right leg up to the ceiling. Point your toes. Okay. Move the ankles around. Move it. Suffer the ankles. Clockwise. And then chin side. And to clockwise. Next. Okay. From here, bottom leg lift up. Yeah. We're going to do the eagle leg from here. The climbing way. Natural curve on the side. So not pressing the ball back. Natural curve on the side. Right thigh on the top. Okay, that right leg go under the left cup, point the toe and hook it. Again, if you can hook it, that's good. If you can't hook it, it's good. Staying where you are. Okay, so from this position, bring the leg to the center, so squeeze into the inner thigh. Okay, pause here. You should feel the lower back is not touching. Natural curve on the side. Okay. From here, we're gonna drop the leg slow towards the left side. Okay, so don't drop the leg immediately, just go slow and see what happens when you are moving the leg to the left side. Your abdominal muscles start to engage to hold the leg up. Right? So pause it halfway. Keep your right shoulder heavy, the back of the head heavy. Continue to look straight up. Now from here you can put the bottom leg, which is your left leg down on the floor. Good. From here, stay here. Left hand on right knee. A little gentle, pressing the right hand down. Again, we maintain the right shoulders and look straight up. So, we... Good. So, take a little breath here. And to squeeze the leg from the inner thigh all the way to the calf. To the big toe. Nice. Leg with the left hand. Pick up the bottom leg and move it back to center and cross the leg. Right. Now, from here, chin side. Step down, right leg first. Left leg straight up to the ceiling. Right. Point the toe on the left leg. Move the ankle. So, turn to clockwise, move the ankle. And then into clockwise. Right. Then, from here, bottom leg lift up. Okay. Crossing your left leg. Sometimes when you feel like crossing, you feel like you want to almost hook up to your calf, what you can do is unhook it, open the leg a little bit wider, and then cross it. So you might gain a little bit of wider range here when you open the leg cross. Okay, so hook the leg to the calf. Okay, pause it here first, check the lower back. Nice. Squeeze the inner thigh, hook it to your calf. Go slow to the right side, so exhale. Now don't go fast, go slow and brace the integration of the core when you're dropping the leg. At the same time, you can pay attention that your left shoulder is heavy down. So you're not going to lift up the left shoulder. And so you put down the bottom leg, which is your right leg down on the floor without lifting up the left. Nice. Right hand on the left knee. Exhale, just press the left leg down for the left leg resistance. Yes, exhale, one deep breath here. Nice, release the hand, pick up the leg, pull the leg up, back to center, and nice. hold the leg. Good, half the leg to the chest, lift the leg up. Now hold it to the back of the knee or roll to side to to all four. Yeah, to all four, set up the hand right underneath the shoulders, knee under the hips. Okay. okay, from the all four position, it gives out a few rounds of your can and cow stretch, spread out the 10 finger toe, extend the back, so inhale, and exhale fully, scoop it in, round the back wheel. As inhale, you can extend. About broadening up the chest. Exhale, skip two, round. Now, 
own side in this. Now, as you exhale, legs stay. You're gonna walk two hand to the left side and you round. That inhale back to center to extend back into the cow stretch. And then walk the hand to the right side and you're gonna catch it. Center in here. Make the chest, cow, exhale. So the calf stretch will be focusing on to the right side of the back. Then move the hand to the left. Inhale, center to the cow. Exhale, walk it. And to feel the left. Nice. Back to center, inhale. Then from here, get both with knee up and just do a walk up, walk in. Left and right, start with the knees, look back into the knees. And look forward to the run step, the right leg forward, next to right hand. Then follow by left leg forward, next to left hand. So stay the both knee bend and make full palms go up. Palm go under. Okay, so use the feet, press the palm, press the finger. You can slightly bend the elbow, bend the knee, and just let the body rest on the thigh. Drop it down. Okay, stop the jaws in place. Now you can keep the knee bent. So you want to lean the chest up away from the thigh and extend that inhale to the elbow, straighten your chest up, chin up, you look a little bit far away from the toes. This time you all the hands is going to straighten, so shake the hand. You may add on, press mm -hmm. down the palm and the finger forward, so you can straighten the right leg and shift it, kick to the left, straighten the right leg. Bend the right leg in here. And straighten the left leg. Exhale. Bend the left. Inhale. One time. Shift to left. Straighten the right leg. Exhale. Inhale. Bend right leg. Straighten the left leg. Exhale. Inhale. Bend. Bend both elbow. Chin in. Leg down. Exhale. Leg. Leg goes in. Release the hips. Step in hand. Roll the side up. Inhale. Sensation from the top of the feet. Ground the feet, feel the footprint underneath the sole of the feet, which is all. Inhale, root the feet, join the palm, lift. Exhale, fall. Inhale, land to the side, hands on the knee. And exhale, right leg steps back. And inhale, left leg steps back to bend knee down and off. And exhale, pause it here. From into your finger pads, from into the leg. Take one more breath here, inhale. And just get your right leg step forward. Or back, left leg step forward. Halfway up, hands on the knee, extend the back, inhale. Exhale, fall. In your right arm, go over. Yeah, exhale, from the chest, that's high. Same thing, left side, inhale. Move the feet, reach your arm, look up. Fall, fall, exhale. Inhale, halfway land. Exhale, left leg step to back. Inhale, right leg back, bend knee down, draw, exhale. Stay here, one more breath here. Inhale, here. left leg forward, exhale. Right leg forward, inhale, halfway up, land to this way. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale up, arms over the knee, reach in. Uh, exhale, palm to chest. Yeah, we start to build up the move and the breath. Inhale, exhale, fold skin. Inhale, halfway up. Now exhale, right leg step to back. Up to crescent lunge, inhale, rise, arms over the knee, reach. Exhale, release head. Step back to bend knee down, bring it up. 
Inhale and forward to plank. Now just knee down the floor, low down everything all the way down. Exhale. Yeah, get down the elbow underneath your shoulder to face. So press the forearm, drag the elbow towards the ribs and drop the chest. Inhale to feet. As you exhale, tuck the toe. Get pull the navel in. Lift up the hip to forearm plank. Lift up. Inhale here, broaden up the shoulder blade. Drop the thigh, knee down, floor again, exhale. Back to feet, inhale. Now exhale, lower down the body. Reach the hand to the back, palm face down, inhale. Shoulder up, squeeze into the shoulder blade to lock the squeeze in. Exhale, palms down, downward facing dog, breathe up. I take one deep breath, inhale, down dog. Right leg forward, exhale. Press that lunge. Up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, release hands, step forward and forward. Inhale, halfway landing. Exhale, fall. Inhale, up, arms reach up. Exhale, arms shift. Left side, breathe in. Breathe out, fall. Inhale, halfway landing. Exhale, left leg step to back, present lunge. Inhale, drag the back and forward as you reach up. Exhale, release hands, step back, bend knee down, drop. Exhale. Inhale, forward to plank. Knee down, fist. Bend the elbow, low down, empty. Exhale. Get fins, forearm down, inhale, look forward. Pull the mat apart, drag the elbow in. Exhale, tuck the tail. Hold in your in, lift. Take one deep breath in here, broaden and shoulder. Exhale, release down. Back to fins, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Lock this, inhale, reach down. Exhale, down, facing down. One deep breath, down, down. Left leg forward, exhale, cross the lunge. Stand up, inhale. Exhale, release hands, step forward and forward. Inhale, halfway landing. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, rise, arms open. Then exhale, palm to chest, back high. Root the feet, inhale, reach in. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway landing. Now exhale, right leg step to back, put down the knee down the floor. Get pointed toes in the back leg, press down the top of the feet. Drag the back and forward as you reach out in the middle of the palm up. Exhale, release the hands, step back to bend knee, downward, lifting up, lift up. Inhale, forward to plank. Lowering down all the way, exhale. Yeah. Forearm down. Inhale to feet. Exhale, forearm plank. Stay, inhale. Lowering down, exhale. Back to fins, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Lock this, inhale. Exhale, release, downward, face it up. One deep breath, inhale. Right leg forward, back knee down, exhale, point the toe, back leg to side. Drag the back leg forward, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release, head, step forward. Inhale, landing. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palm to chest. Get ground feet. Inhale, left side. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway up. Left leg back. Exhale, back knee down. Point toes. Now, this time, instead of bringing the hands up, reach the hands back. Inhale. Palm facing down, reach the feet back. Next, exhale, release. Step back, bend knee down, dog. Exhale. Inhale, forward to plank. Lowering down all the way. Exhale. Forearm down to feet. Inhale. Exhale, tap to to forearm. Stay forearm plank, go in. Lower down, breathe up. Stay to feet. Inhale. Lower down, exhale. Lockers with the leg lift up together. Inhale. 
Exhale, release hands, step back, downward facing up, bring it down. Let's take one deep breath, inhale, downward. Left leg forward, back knee down, exhale, point your toes. Again, hands go up behind, inhale, reach back, open up the chest, keep the back, drive it forward, open the chest. Exhale, release, step forward and forward. Inhale, halfway, gently. Exhale, forward. As you inhale up, arms go away. Exhale, palm to chest, back to high. Okay, come into chair pose, bending both knee. So you're gonna find knee, point to second toe, reach up the hand, inhale, draw the palm to the Four, four, exhale, down. Inhale, halfway, gently. Then exhale, right leg, step to back. Inhale to climb. Get from here, off of the parcel, bend the knee, slightly lift the tailbone, exhale fully, push back to bend the elbow. Now I want to look forward to the front, inhale, bend the elbow, hug it in, glide it up to upper toe or cobra, downward facing up, exhale, pull up. Then lift up, right leg up to three leg up, now point the toe and the right leg, bend the knee and come up the right. And let the right leg step forward. Inhale. Back foot turn in, put down the heel. So get a front heel point to back heel. Back. Inhale up. Warrior two. Good. Exhale, stay here. So check the foundation, warrior two. So I'm not going to mention, but if you join my class regularly, you know what you are um, checking. You know what you need to, you're aware of. Okay, lift the chest. Exhale, sink the hips down, but at the same time, you are lifting up. So see the contradiction of the action? You are dropping the hip, at the same time, you are lifting the thigh. Okay, inhale here, right elbow on the thigh. Just grab your right elbow on the thigh with the palm facing up. So press down to your right hand, lift the chest up, bring your left hand in front of you, in here. So extend the left hand away from the back leg, and then lift the torso up. Extend and turn the leg, look down. Good. As you open up the front of the body, make sure you are still containing the strength, prana to the front abdominal muscle, pushing your pubic bone down, your thigh bones away, and then lift up. Alright, so let's take a warm up. Inhale, get down, left hand down, exhale. Turn it back, you lift the chest, bring in, step back, plank, breathe up. A deep breath, inhale, from here, bending the knee, lift the tailbone, exhale, push the toe away, breathe up. Inhale again, stay here, exhale, left leg forward, back leg turn in, down the heel. Up to water to inhale. Passing the water to the exhale. Bring the awareness to the feet. Yeah. From the ankle to the knee and the thigh. Mm. The side of the body, the level of the pelvis, the level of the shoulders. Yes, yeah, the state of your mind and breath. Yeah, look at the left hand, reach out to the left hand. Get down the left hand. Elbow on the thigh with the left arm facing up. Get right hand is right in front of the chest. Inhale, do a half so to reach up the top, top hand. All the way. Just remember the right hand do not necessarily close to the right ear. It can be slightly away. So when you feel that your shoulder width is moving along with your right arm when your arm is going over. As the finger reaches the front, your right leg reach to the back and keep the right entire inner thigh lift when you are sitting the back of the back. You can gently turn the knee with up or anywhere you're comfortable to look at. I see one big breath in. Exhale, release the hand. Eight, step back to the plank. Eyes from here, belly, push back, exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Nice. And inhale, look forward to the front. Bend the elbow, hug it in. Glide and forward, up or a cobra, lift up, point the toe, chest open. Exhale, down and facing up. Bring it up. 
inhale in. Right forward, exhale. Left it forward, inhale, half lift. Lengthen the spine, lift. Get exhale, fall forward. Inhale, knee bend and sit up to chair. Reach the arm, draw the palm. Standing up, Kadasana, exhale. So get the block ready by the side. We have the block view. Inhale again, Ukadasana. Nice, fall forward, exhale down. Inhale, lengthening, extend the back. Good, exhale, left leg to the back. Nice, inhale, right leg to the back to climb. That bending above you. Exhale, reading up, push up. That's it, take one deep breath, inhale to Okay, this time we start with the left leg first. Exhale, left leg forward. Okay, back heels down. Now, grab the block with your and walk. You stand up again to water to inhale. Bring your block with you. Okay, from here you turn away. Bring the hands up over. Extend the hand. Hold the block of your imagination. And yeah, from the water to the position, breathe in. From the feet, reach up to the hand. As you exhale, sink the hips down, but maintain the back line. The jaw brace muscle relax. Yeah, from here, inhale without dropping the hand. Keep the hands up. So I'm going to turn your hip facing to the front of the mat with your back heel lift. Square your hip. Turn it facing to the front. Exhale. So as you keep dragging your back thigh forward, open up the leg and out the part of your left hip. Yeah, inhale, so one more breath. Arms away into the crescent lunge. Lower down the hand to the front. Exhale, shoulder height. Yeah, so inhale again. Press the palm. Exhale, look forward. Keep back leg strong. Rack the back leg forward. Bend the elbow. Bring the block to the front of the chest. Okay, so the elbow come to the side of the ribs. Do the twist to the left side. Get the right elbow outside the left knee. Left arm pin up. Keep pressing the other block. Lift the chest up. Inhale. Feel the big time the outer leg of your left leg as you extend the back. Nice, so take one more breath. <coughs> Inhale, exhale, release. Look down, get down the block. Step back, down the block. Exhale, move out to down. Get feel the big time on the left leg. So, where the whole body, when it's from. Hip to toes now. And inhales again, which is like right leg forward. Exhale, back to your turn. Down. Inhale, up more two with the block. Arms go over hip. Exhale, wrap the leg into more two. Exhale, inhales again. So I'm way off the position of my thigh, my knee. So I'm not tensing up my neck and shoulders. Got yeah, stay the hand up, roof in. Got yeah, back leg, lift. I turn, I square my hip, and the face is tall, I break up. If I need a little wider stand, I move my foot. Yeah, so take one more breath here in here. Pull the block, get it down to shoulder height. Exhale. Now it's in here again. Exhale. I feel my back a more. But later when we come to twist, you feel the front leg more. But even though if you feel one part is dominant, Bend the elbow, bring the block to you. Exhale, rose feet to the right side, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Right arm is up, press the block, yes. exhale. So you are lengthening the position right now without dropping or crowning the back too much. Lift up, exhale. That's it, take one more breath. Yeah, look it down. Exhale, release. I step back, down to our exhale. That's a pay attention to your whole body. That's a warm breath here. With the heel, bend the knee, you can have the option either you walk or jump to front. Exhale. Inhale, half lengthening. Exhale, fall forward down. Inhale, reach your arm. Hard exhale, palm to chest, but heart center. Okay, feet keep it distant. Now you're gonna lift up your right foot up. Okay, bend this, bend the legs. So cross your right leg over to the left side. 
across it. Feel the weight loading to your standing leg, your left leg. Find the tongue to the right leg and hook it to the back of your left leg. Again, if you get it, but if you don't get it, but just stay here. Okay. It's easier position to stay balanced. You can do with your hand. Option, come to prayer hand. Or left elbow on the top. Cross. So get everything lined up at the middle. So squeeze the hand. Push them apart. Do the shoulder. Squeeze the leg and pull them apart. Do the hips. Yeah, just look straight to the front. Nice, so one deep breath. Let it go. Exhale, please. Step the feet. Inhale, reach your arm. Exhale, fall forward. Breathe this move. Halfway, land to make inhale. That is exhale, fall. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palm to the side. Root down to right leg. Left leg up. Drip in. Bend, standing leg. The cross might not be working for you. Open and cross. Hold. Root down the weight. In a high squeezing. Lift up the chest. Option here. Or right hand on the top. Right. Nice job. It's relaxed. Just walk straight to the front. Inhale. Exhale. Yes. So especially in a balancing position, you need to consistently pay attention to your breath. So you have a steady tempo in your body and mind that hold you up. Okay, so one. As you release the hands and legs, inhale. Then reach up and look up. Four, four, exhale, down. As inhale, maintain, lift. Exhale, right leg steps back. Now inhale to climb, spread the fingers, bending both knees. Exhale, push back, down dog, look forward. Inhale, hug the elbow, glide it up the dog, lift the chest. Exhale, down dog, breathe up. Inhale, right leg up, trigger the dog, point toe, bend the knee, open up the knee. Exhale. Bring your right leg forward. Inhale. Yeah, just keep the fly to you. Push the floor away as you exhale. Push, push, push. Let you do a cat pose. Push. Now from here, inhale. Three leg up again. Open up again. Exhale, right leg forward. Breathing out. Push the floor away. Push. From here, turn your right leg to pigeon. Right knee turn up. Drop the back knee down. Okay, so instead of sitting low on your finger pad, on your top toe, lift the chest up. Now in here, extend the back. So not dropping your butt low, but walk your hand to the right side as you exhale, cups the hands down. So we're not aiming to lower down the right butt, but aiming to extend the left side of the body all the way to the inner So I look down, look up. Okay, so take a little deep breath. But uh, inhale, come back to center. Forward the hands back, palms down, back to the down dog. Exhale, bring up. Inhale, left leg up, three leg up. High toes, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, bring the left leg forward, push the floor away, round the back, bring up. Inhales again, three leg up, lift up. Exhales again, lean forward, round, and then you do a cat pose, push. Five to chest. Okay, I'm going to turn out the left leg out to the side. Drop the back knee down. Okay, just hang on here. On your finger pad, inhale, lift the chest up. Guys, you exhale. Just stay this high butt lift. Keep pressing down to your left leg. Walk the hand to the left side. Let's see, let's see. Get five and then the rise up. One more breath here. Back to center. Inhale. Okay, go back down. Exhale. Bring it up. 
And inhale forward. Knee down, low down all the way. Exhale, breathing up. As from here, reach the hand and leg back. Inhale to lock this. Pause and lock this. Exhale. Back shoulder breathe back and down. Chest broaden. Active lift, lift. Now from here, join the big toe, the inner heel together. Squeeze that in together. Big toe together, feet together. Get the inner thigh muscle. Work a little bit more. Nice, last one. Come down slowly. Exhale. Down, we're facing up. Breathe up. Back, take one deep breath in here. Lift the heel, bend the knee. The option, walk a jump, exhale. Inhale, halfway, extend. Nice, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arm to chest. Ground the feet. Eager legs again. Right leg up, breathe in. Bend the left leg, exhale. Get hop the leg to the back. Squeeze the leg together. As inhale, reach the hand. Join the palm together. Intact finger point. And inhale, reach up the arm. Nice, from here, exhale. Do a little side bend. Lean the body to the right side. Okay, so open up the left side of the body. Yep, jaw, face, muscle relaxing. Squeeze the leg. Good, take a little breath here. Come back to center, inhale. Let go, exhale, breath up. Chin side, inhale. Nice. Um, left leg up, cross. So I'm just afraid that in the middle of the practice, there's interruption. Some of you might taxing me, so no, I think it's not. Okay, so squeeze the inner thigh. Squeeze so it in, and then inhale, palm, and inhale, finger up. Exhale, breathe in, lift. Got exhale, to the left side, this time, same with you. Got, so count it with the right leg up into the center. Yeah, yeah, the line on the side. Nice, you take a long breath. And back to center, inhale, release, exhale, down. Back on the mat, inhale, reach your arm to the palm. Forward fold, exhale down. Inhale, halfway, lengthening. Nice, exhale, right leg step down. Inhale to climb. Bend knee, exhale. Inhale, look forward, drive it forward, up the door, cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, right leg up. Now from here, without moving your body forward, just bend the knee to chest. Yeah, lift up the left heel. Bend the left knee and you cross your right leg forward to the thigh. Okay. Hold the leg to, to the eagle leg. Okay. And turn the body to the left side. Now when you turn to the left side, your left leg has to turn. Your bottom part of the left leg to turn. Okay. Now you utilize your right hand. Push the floor away. Right hand, push the floor away, squeeze in the thigh, sink the hips down. Reach up the left hand, forward hip, exit. So jaw, face, relax, and stay. Yeah, so it's like one of the other. Exit, down the left hand, step back, release it. Down the exhale, breathe up. Yeah, just move the leg. Yeah, body is going to be from now. Breathe, and then change the left leg up, three leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, open the knees. Inhale, just the left leg to the front. Lift the right heel, bend the right knee and cross the left leg. Exhale, hold it. Now turn the body, the entire body together with the right leg. Okay, now your left hand, activate the left hand. Push the floor away and reach out the right hand. Inhale, stretch the right hand, hold it. Exhale. So ground it from into the right leg, keep up the side body. Get that right hand, back, down dog, exhale, knee down to child pose, and you may stack the hand if you find challenge into your child pose. So what you can do is stack up the front, if you have a block, Good. Step up the front. Okay, just move your butt back slowly. If you find any strainage on your ankle, 
the user block to support. It's completely okay using the block because it is the, the best decision to make. Use a block to come for the practice. So, get some grass and down the in here. Get out. Okay. Yeah, so get onto the mat. You may need to turn yourself facing to side. And now we come into the frog. So that's going to be a counter way for the outer hip and come into the frog. So I position my self turning sideways. You can turn that too. So set up the knee in a line and the ankle behind the knee. Now you may want to start off with, do not open the leg too wide first. So any distance that you're comfortable to begin. So actively to press down the big toe side and the inner part of the knee, and then they get down the forearm, down the forearm. That's it. Okay, so watch that. No high weight stand on your back, so you do not want to arch your back. You want to pull your navel up and tailbone back. Okay, so see if you are sitting back, you find any sensation on the hips, especially in the part of the hip. Okay, or not, you can open the knee and get wider distance. So press the forearm. Press the inner knee and drag the inner thigh in. You resistant, you shorten, you engage the inner thigh muscle when you are in a lengthening inner thigh muscle position. So push the hip a little bit back as you exit. Okay, so now you're going to find the sensation around the, the hips. You see, you can pay attention to the rest of the body. Start to need to integrate with the moment. We're in the toes and breathe together and keep in mind that you're able to feel the body without judging. And most importantly, without frustrating. We just want to feel alive when we are practicing. Any amount that you open up the leg is fine. So getting your thigh turned in and lift the same one up. And feel the power position. Right the center in a neutral way. Lift the chest in here. So actively ground the leg. Yeah, as we are stretching into the inner thigh right now, reach out only if you are having a big range of motion, meaning you can go down easily on the floor. I want you to learn how to engage. Okay, I want you to not go in far, no go fast, but learn how to activate the muscle that you are lengthening, which we were doing it last week. Okay, if you have a big time like doing this for like really still, you can just go. Okay, those who are really have a range, really flexible doing this pose, learn how to activate the muscle that you are. that you ain't in your lengthening right now, press down the heel and draw the heel towards the knee, the groin. A lengthening the spine as you put in. Forward, walk as you go up. Please pay attention to each breath as you are moving forward. Not forcing, but just listen to my breath. My breath is my teacher. The breath will give you the indications whether you can go or not today. Let's 
so then just slow down and able to listen to your breath. If it's too much, just back up. If there's no right or wrong or correct or not correct. It's about your body, you just need to treasure your body, nurture your body. As you do good to your body, your body will do good. Bring your right leg up. Cross your leg. Excellent. And then left leg all to the right. Right hand to the left. Uh, sitting upright in here. Is that rounding your right sitting bone? Exhale to rotate. together. If the video ends, I'll see you on Saturday. I just want you to remain silent.